my channel. I'm here with a fall tutorial today for this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. This is very similar, almost exactly um, what I wore in my blush favorites video and also my BoxyCharm, my October BoxyCharm video. I'm not sure which order these are all going up in, so I will link whichever ones are already up of those down below so you can see. Basically this look is just really fall appropriate. It's warm and purpley and just... I love it. I love purple so much and I feel like it's kind of like deep and jewelly enough that it's like a good fall purple. But I left the lower lash line empty, blank, naked, <laughs> um, just because I feel like it's a little more girly and pretty that way. Sometimes in the fall and winter I like to go super dark and vampy and edgy and whatever, but sometimes it's nice to just be like girly and kind of romantic looking too and I did a pink lip to go with it. Typically, sorry my stool is really creaky. Typically when I do like purples on the eye, I usually go with a peach blush slash lip situation. But for whatever reason I was really feeling the pink today so I did pair it with a subtle pink blush and a nice kind of pink nude understated lip situation. So it's very very easy. I also did some false lashes. Um, I'm going to be doing a how to apply false lashes video very soon because I've had a lot of requests for that. So stay tuned for that guy. And if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching. Okay so I've done my brows and I primed my eyelids with MAC Paint Pot in Lane Low and then that shadow that I just showed you which I'm using right now in my transition area is Chickadee by Makeup Geek. Next I'm going to lay down kind of like a smoky base with this liner slash shade pencil situation from Lord and Barry. This was in October's BoxyCharm and I'm going to smudge that out really quickly before it sets up just with this little smudger brush just to give a nice intensity to the shadows that I'm going to put over top of this. And I'm going to take Bitten, also by Makeup Geek. All the shadows used in this tutorial are by Makeup Geek. It's just like my most used palette and it's so easy to just reach for one. And I'm going to put that in kind of the blank space that's right above that smoky liner that we just did. I'm going to follow that with Burlesque and I'm going to put that all over the lid area, just right up into the crease. You can see how this kind of, the black underneath the Burlesque shade brings out like the cranberry like kind of shimmer that it has in it and it's just really really beautiful with the black underneath. Then I'm going to take Glamorous and I'm going to use that just to highlight underneath my eyebrow and in my inner corner really quickly. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner to just do a nice crisp solid winged liner. I haven't done one of these in forever and I just thought let's just do it for fun. I'm also using the mascara that came in our box charm this month and I actually really like this mascara. It's amazing. Um, I will list all the details for it down below and everything but it does a really good job of like really making your lashes pop. The bronzer I'm using here is by Girlactic. It is Cabo and that's the one I'm, I'm always using in videos. You guys have seen me use that a thousand times. Just adding a little bit of bronzer. It's not, you know, this is not a major contour situation. And then I'm going to follow that with my highlighter. This is Champagne Pop by Becca. I'd like to do my highlighter before my blush because this highlight can be kind of intense. So then I put the blush like kind of over the top of it almost. Um, and it kind of blends everything together. So this is NARS Orgasm. I haven't used this in like years, I swear. But I wanted to just give it a shot today. Concealing my lip line to prepare for lip liner. Just using my uh, Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Concealer. Then I'm going to take this LA Girl Lip Liner and I cannot find it right now and so I don't know what the shade is called. I'm so terrible. I'll have to try and find it. If I do, it'll be listed down below. Um, but I'm just going to line my lips with that really quickly just for a soft pink lip which I kind of like all year round. I'm really low maintenance when it comes to lip color, you guys know that. But a lot of you guys ask me why I do the concealer first and that is because my lip line is naturally not very defined and so a lot of colors I have a hard time pulling off. Then for a lip color I'm going to follow up with Bite Beauty's Fig. I love, love, love this lip color. It's beautiful. Really, really easy to wear. 
So that is it for this fall makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did do the blush and bronzer and lip and everything in the tutorial as you could tell. Um, let me know what you guys think if you prefer it that way or if you'd rather me just cut that out um, and just state what I did at the end and just basically focus on eyes for the tutorial. Doesn't really matter to me, so let me know what you guys like and what you find most helpful and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!